Welcome to the Go Rhino booth at the SEMA show. My name is Paul Barnaby, and I have the pleasure of sharing with you our 2020 Go Rhino Gladiator. This Jeep, uh, this Gladiator has hit the ground running. A lot of the enthusiasts are jumping on board. It's definitely one of the vehicles that people are enjoying the trick out, and Go Rhino has an answer for them. We literally have products that go from bumper to bumper and cover everything in between. So if you got the time, let's go around this 2020 Gladiator by Go Rhino. We can showcase some of the products. One of the most important products in the Gladiator is you got to, obviously besides wheels and tires, is you got to get an aggressive bumper. It's got to be a bumper that incorporates a winch, which we have. If you decide not to do the winch, we do have a plate that goes over it that kind of mirrors the grill of the front and allows even a dealership or someone that's just concerned about having a winch to have a nice closed bumper in the front. It has different lighting options on the side, as well as three different mounting light bars here. One, as you can see here, is kind of a little aggressive. It goes a little forward. Two is like a stinger style. It comes out a little bit longer like a stinger bar would be. And the third one is a little bit of a bull bar like. It comes a little bit closer to the grill and comes over. So the customer actually has three choices when it comes to what kind of light bar he wants. One of the very cool features is we actually had the space, since the winch is up on top, we had a lot of space here in the bumper. And we thought, what could we do with that? And the R&D team came up with an, exist, an excellent idea. They incorporated a drawer into the bumper. So let's say you're out in your Gladiator and you got the top off and you want to jump in the water real quick and you're worried about a cell phone or a wallet. You can just put it right here in the drawer, close it, and it actually locks, it actually twists right here to close it up. This is the last place anyone's gonna look to see if there's a security drawer there. So it's a good place to, to put your valuables when you are enjoying the uh, outside weather. Of course, it has the, the um, uh, tow hooks here for D shackles and a place to tie down. We call them the rhino horn. We kind of like that name. Um, and so this completes the front bumper. The good news with Go Rhino is all, this one bumper, the trail line, actually fits the JK, the JL, and the JT or the Gladiator. So you as a shop have the confidence of knowing if you bring one of these in stock, you got three platforms that this trail line will fit. So that's a big plus for you guys. Lastly on the bumpers is every front bumper for the Jeep, actually Gladiator, has a matching rear bumpers. One of the things that we're doing that's doing very well from the JK and the JL community is our light mounts. So these we've obviously moved over to the Gladiator because of their success. So we expect this, these light mounts to be just as successful and popular as they are in the JK and the JL. To be honest, we're at about 20 plus light mounts, but two of the key light mounts that have done very well for us is the hood latch light mount, as you can see here. It ties the light mount actually into the hood latch for the Jeep, and it's a really cool place to add a light. Some customers will pat them pointing forward. Other customers will put this at a 30 degree angle to kind of have like a panoramic lighting effect when they're going off-roading. Another very popular one is our dual light mount. As you can see here, you can do different variations of lights. You can have a forward facing light and again, another one that does like a 30 degree angle to kind of create that panoramic lighting again. Um, it doesn't matter the size of the light. Obviously, you just want to make sure it fits within that, that sandbox area. You can't have two big six inches uh, lights. You got to kind of break it up a little bit. But in terms of popularity, number one by far, number two, and then again, we have about 20 plus choices that go from there. So you can pick which light mount you prefer for your Jeep. Moving on to our sidestep, we have the new DSS. This has gone very well in the JK and the JL community. As we know, a lot of these Jeep owners are, it's a family affair. You know, the wife's part of it, the kids are part of it. And having a true rock slider that also has a little bit of a step pad to allow the family to get in and out of the vehicle is turning out to be a pretty good hit. So if you guys do need something that's still, it, it's a rock slider, but it still gives you the option to kind of step into the vehicle, I encourage you to check out Go Rhino's DSS. As you can see here, the step pad runs the full cab length. It allows you not only to get in and out of the vehicle, but let's say you put some rack up on the, on the top of the cab, you can actually walk across the running board to get up there. We have our extreme rack. This is brand new at SEMA. As a matter of fact, we're still putting some marketing material together to go over all the features and benefits. All I can say is, it looks awesome. You've got a combination of steel and aluminum so it doesn't get too heavy, yet it has a static weight of 300 and then it, uh, um, I think it's called motion weight of 600. That means that you can put a tent up here and get that overland look that's very popular right now, allowing somebody to actually put a tent up there and go camping, and then giving you all these different options of lighting different things that you may need at the camp, whether it be a gas tank, hammer, axe, shovel. You can have 
multiple mounting points to, to put that stuff on. And as you can see, Ridge has been a good partner of ours. Ridge has supplied these lights that you can put a bunch of different lighting options, whether it's a backup light, again, that 30 degree angle for that panoramic lighting when you're backing up. And one of the nice things I thought that was pretty cool that the team did is they put these little studs in here. So let's say that you do have stuff that goes a little bit higher than the truck bed and you want to uh, put that right on there to keep it from bouncing out, you can do that. We're very excited about this. We've got some good reception on this. You do not have to drill in the bed of the truck with this one. So when you go to trade it in, you're not going to get a lower trade-in value because you got a bunch of holes in it. So I very much encourage you to go check out the OE Extreme uh, rack that we're going to have here big, basically at the beginning of the year. Now with every Gladiator, you got to have the high lift jack mount. And so we, our Go Rhino has incorporated this into the front fender. As you can see, one of the key features when the engineers designed this is to not obstruct your view. And so you'll notice this runs along the A-pillar and it really doesn't block your view when you're off-roading. That's a key feature. You know, some of the other options out there are across the hood and that just can block your view when you're going off-roading and you're going up and down inclines. So we encourage you to check out a patent pendented brand new front fender mount uh, high, jack lift, high lift jack. Moving on, this has got to be our number one selling uh, new board for 2019. It's done so well in 2019, we're actually going to move over to trucks in 2020. But this is called the D1. A lot like the DSS you saw on the other side, the only difference is, is now you've got a five inch step pad here. This is really favorable with families, again, getting in and out of the vehicle. It also drops roughly about an inch, inch and a half here. And that can give the perception that it's a little easier to step into, especially on a lifted Jeep. Um, customers can feel that, that it's easier to get in and out of the vehicle when you have this little drop here. So the D1 is doing very, very well, and I encourage you to check that out as well. And again, there was a lot to digest there, and we have more products that we want to showcase. I encourage you to see more on our products. Go to our website, www.gorhino.com, or call us at 888-427-4466, and our customer service team will be excited to share with you all these new products and see what they can do to trick out your Gladiator.